Hello and welcome back Tech Edu Tips. Uh, I have my Zoom set up. So this is a video pretty much for only people that are using Zoom with a commercial license. Because what I'm going to show you doesn't work in the free one. I checked. But I have lots of colleagues at the Tech de Monterey and other professors and other institutions that do have the commercial one. So I want to show this. Um, so let me schedule a meeting. I've got this reduced size because I don't want to show the details of my other meetings. And so if I go to schedule a meeting, so, you know, we'll put in the topic, put in the information. Um, I'll give a quick view here. You can change the date of it, the time. Something I don't like about Zoom is it only gives me half hour increments for the start time. I'd, I'd like more granularity. Maybe through the API it's possible. And you can change the duration um, in 15 minute increments for some reason, but not the start. And then if you want a meeting that's multiple times, like we're meeting every week on Tuesday and Friday or something, you can do that, that's great. Um, registration, I don't recommend having this because it means it's more for webinars where people register ahead of time. You can create templates of meetings. So if you make lots of meetings, you probably wanna work with templates, I don't. Um, I made the password meeting with Ken for this one. And then um, waiting room, we actually have this selected by default and we can't change that at my institution. And I think it's a good thing. Um, they get thrown into the meeting waiting room until the, the host lets them in. Um, in our setup, um, I have it set up so my students can get in if I'm there already. And then I tend to have my own video on because I'm the host but I have the participants' videos off by default when they join. Uh, I think that's good for privacy reasons. I only allow computer audio. You can play around with this. I don't use telephone connections. Um, I don't like using this allow participants to join anytime. That means if you're not there, they can use your room. Yes, if they have the link and the password or whatever, they can use your room. Um, and I, I lock this down, so I have to be there. There has to be a host for people to join. And then this is a good security thing, similar to the video things, uh, video off by default. Uh, we have this on uh, muted, uh, institution-wide. I can't change it. So um, I think that's good for privacy reasons, um, and they don't accidentally have their microphone open. Uh, breakout room CS sign, I should do a video about that. I think I did before. This is really good if you're doing classes and you have Teams already set up. Um, but I'm not gonna show you that today. What I wanna show you today after all of that is I can set up a course or a class or a meeting and then delegate host duties to someone ahead of time. So this is part again of the played plan. I don't know which plans enter here, but I teach a course where there's four professors and we actually have an account created specifically for that course. I found it difficult that oh, I got to log out of my regular one, log into that one and change back and forth. and. If I enter early and the other professor's there and they're logged in with the same account, I might kick them out. It's, I don't think it's a good setup. So what I found out we could do is I could add my colleagues here. So I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna show their names and email addresses, but I can search for my colleagues here and give them permission to start this meeting anyone within my institution. So this is a really cool setup. I could probably use this for student meetings as well. I haven't tried that, but this has been super useful for a course where there's four professors and we don't wanna log in and log out of different accounts for different courses. Um, we just give permissions to them. So I could give permissions and I actually might do this for EduCoffee. Um, my colleagues that come almost all the time, uh, give them permissions and then if can can't make it for whatever reason they can fire up the edu coffee so that's what i wanted to share with you today i hope it's useful um, even if you don't have this option there was a little bit of information about setting up a meeting and uh, if you've got any suggestions uh, for other topics in the future let me know down in the comments uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit that um, notification bell if you want to know when i make a new video don't see why someone would really be that interested but you're welcome to go ahead and do that and have an awesome rest of the week.